Hello everyone and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we are back in the Nelson. Been a while, huh? Didn't see that coming, did you? That's because it's something you guys have been asking for for a little while now, so I figure here we are. So we're going to channel our inner Zarkoon and go out here and show the world what the Nelson is all about. And no, it's not just an HE boat, folks. Okay? I know, it does have HE, and it's very good HE. But learn to use the armor piercing correctly, because you have 16-inch guns at tier 6, and you overmatch darn near everything that you fire at. So learn to use the AP. Okay? Just a word to the wise. Now, there's one thing that I want you guys to pay attention to in this match, and that is... The dangers of getting tunnel vision... Something that I brought up recently is that uh, I like to take flanks, I like to get those crossfires. And when you push for those crossfires, you get used to paying attention to who has your crossfire. Right? Wrong. Sometimes, you're fighting somebody, and you're not paying attention, and somebody has your crossfire when you least expect it. And that's usually when it ends badly. Ask me how I know. Foreshadowing? Maybe. So, anyway, we're going to push around to the left flank. Shocker, I know, crazy thought. First shot that we've got is at this Laga here who is bow into us. Take the shot and it's gonna be horrendous. Armor piercing is loaded because the majority of the ships in this game are going to be relatively easy to deal with with armor piercing. And we get one full penetration for 4,400 damage on the Laga. And then he's gonna turn to the right and get behind the island, which means I don't get to shoot him again. Unfortunate. But, if you'll notice, there's another cruiser heading right for us. It is a Trento! Right? So, uh, yeah. Not ideal, but at the same time, not the scariest thing to come charging at you nine kilometers away. So, we're gonna get ready to punch him in the face. You know, I figure, I figure it's only fair, right? So, uh, hello Trento. How you doing, buddy? Wait for it. Go ahead, make your move. We know what you're gonna do. Oh, okay. Bow in. Let's see how that works out for you. Bonk. And he's dead. <laughs> Between the North Carolina hitting him and us, he lost all his hit points real quick. Apparently, the smoke didn't help him there. I have no idea why. It's almost like he used the smoke and then didn't realize that we were already shooting at him. Who'd have thunk it? Now, Dallas, on the other hand, is sitting here beached, and I'm thinking, okay, well, now's our chance. I take the shot and, unfortunately, did not lead him enough. Knew he was going to come off the, the wall there, but didn't expect him to come off the wall so fast, and we only get one shell to hit him, which is real annoying. But now we have the uh, Laga coming back over here, sailing broadside to God and everybody. The Dallas is shooting at me, but look at what's behind the Laga. Could shoot the Laga here, but I'd rather shoot the little turd burglar that's right freaking behind him. You know, the Eagle. What is the Eagle? It's a destroyer. See a destroyer? Shoot a destroyer. That's armor piercing, folks. Right there. That's a guaranteed two shot. Right? Now, if we were closer and we were able to hit more shells, we probably could have dev struck a little turn. Now, the Eagle is a fancy French destroyer. It's not just a French destroyer. It just happens to be... Really? On his dying breath, triple fire? Really? Anyway... <laughs> The Eagle just happens to be a French destroyer that has smoke. Which right now he's using to shield the Laga and himself. Now, I'm no expert, but you would think with a cruiser behind me that has torpedoes and the fact that there's two cruisers there, uh, somebody would be sending torpedoes into the gap. Because it's not like they can go anywhere. They were clearly beached on the freaking island. So, a little bit of, you know, forethought maybe. Just throw, throw the torpedoes out there and see what happens. You never know. Now, I was expecting the Colorado to get spotted here. He doesn't. Hey, look, torpedoes. Better late than never, I suppose. Sorry, I'm yawning like crazy right now. I apologize. But uh, we're going to push the smoke screen because reasons. Laga fires his guns and we're close enough to make sure that he gets detected for it. We shoot straight through the bow and of course we only hit two shells because the game is like, screw you in particular. So uh, yeah, he gets finished off by our teammate. 
who gets a dev strike on a guy that had no hit points. Explain that one to me. Why is everybody getting dev strikes lately when it doesn't actually mean you're getting a dev strike? There have been a lot of dev strikes dished out lately. It's got to be a bug. And it's a weird bug. Because it's giving everybody dev strikes for people who don't actually get more than half the hit points taken away. It's weird. So it's a thing. I've been noticing it a lot lately. But uh, Colorado out here thinks he owns the place. He's just sitting here broadside to God and everybody. And I'm going to show him real quick why armor piercing is a lot of the times the better option in the Nelson. Yes, you have prolific high explosive. But you also have very good armor piercing. So knowing when to use that armor piercing and effectively using it is a big deal. Also, you got to remember that they have armor piercing and you don't have much armor. So you've got to limit the amount of damage you take, right? How do we do that? We bait him into shooting at the belt. Get him to shoot for the belt, folks. The Nelson does have a good belt armor. Ask, ask Zarkoon. Hello, I am Zarkoon, and this is World of Warships Legends. Exactly. See? He even agrees. But uh, Colorado, we, we take a moment to get a, get away from the Colorado, come back out. He's already ready to shoot, which is surprising. But uh, unfortunately for him, he fires like a split second too soon. But uh, notice on the map that there's a ship coming my direction. Yeah. Yeah, there's a little bit of foreshadowing coming up real quick. Remember? Crossfires, folks. Know when you're in one and know when you get one. Okay. That guy's going awfully far broadside in that Nagato, don't you think? Ouch. Yeah. Of course he does. But it's okay. We only have 17,000 hit points, right? We just lost all of our health just like that because of one momentary lapse of paying attention. That's how quickly things can change in World of Warships Legends. You can be raffle stomping everybody one minute, and then the next, everybody else is dead. That's how it works. Now here, I'm going to be honest with you. Show me the plane. If you know what I'm talking about, wait for it. Where in the f*** is there a plane? Please tell me. There isn't one. There ain't a plane within 30 goddamn kilometers of me. How the f*** am I spotted? But uh, fortunately, we get a pretty good hit there on the Nagato. Nagato's running away. Um, this Nagato player is at least competent. I'll give him that. But at the end of the day, it's me versus him. And I like my odds. And getting a little bit of revenge is always going to be serve nice and sweet. But you got to be smart in these situations, folks. You can't just go around willy-nilly. Now, I don't like burning a heal for very little health like this. But, I have three of them, and so getting some health back is better than nothing. Also gets my heal on a uh, cool, er, on the cooldown so that I can get the next heal up a little bit sooner. So, Nagato is turned away from us right now, so we're going to wait. He's going to fire his guns, and now we're going to go ahead and engage. Why did we wait till he fired his guns, folks? Because I don't want to get shot back. It's funny how that works, right? He's the only one that can shoot us right now, so waiting until after he fires is ideal. Now, unfortunately, we hit him for very little. To his credit, he's doing a pretty good job of staying angled, and we're not getting very good accuracy. So, rather than continuously punching him for like 1,100 damage, I pull out the high explosive. Because we can. And then the carrier gets spotted as soon as I fire my gun, so I switch back to armor piercing. Because carrier... But uh, look at that HE. Double fire, no problem. Unfortunately, he was already on a fire, so that double fire just probably uh, triggered his fight fire with fire skill. You're welcome, Nagato. You get to live a little bit longer. That cannot be said for your friend in the Ranger who has just decided he needs to park here. Now, I shouldn't have to say this, but if you're in a carrier and you're spotted and there's people closing in, you should probably not be sitting still uh, because this can happen. Bonk. Yeah, yeah. you don't want to be sitting there like that. Mm -mm. It's not a good idea. But uh, Nagato, on the other hand, he beached. He's now reversing. We've got armor piercing loaded, so we're going to go ahead and fire the armor piercing. He is 
Angled a little bit, but we know we overmatch, so we just aim a little bit higher than his belt and hope that we can hit enough shells to make a difference. And then we switch back to the HE immediately. Because, again, struggling a little bit to do consistent damage against this, this uh, Nagato here. The enemy carrier's continuously harassing me after he's already dead because, you know, planes, apparently. Anyway, Nagato, after uh, coming out of his little shell over here, is just waiting to die at this point. And we're going to get some RNG here with the high explosive, get the fire, and do the damage, and leave him alive. Go figure. Give the Nagato one more chance to take me out. Right, game? Got to. Has to. It's in the rule. And that's when the Nagato strikes full-on Japanese accuracy <laughs> at its finest. And that is, when you need it the most, it will let you down. <laughs> and... Bonk. Down he goes. He gets one last shot away, and it is nothing. And the enemy... Uh, the other enemy battleship goes down. So there you have it, folks. A lesson in paying attention and not getting tunnel vision. 169,000 damage, confederate, um, high cow, first blood, I think, maybe not a first blood, it was a high cow, confederate, dev strike, and a, uh, yeah, dreadnought, dreadnought. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Is there any other ships that you guys are interested in, in checking out? Throw it down in the comments and maybe I'll get to it, all right? No promise, but I will try. And if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button. Leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.